Hello and welcome back to Jack's FSX videos. Today I'm doing a tutorial to show you how to install add-on freeware scenery. Okay then, so we're using Flyaway Simulation for this tutorial, which has got loads of scenery add-ons for you to pick from. So I've picked this one here, Los Angeles Airport Scenery version 3. Uh, and this is the one that I recommend you use if this is the first time you are installing a add-on scenery. If you've never done it before, use this one just to make sure that you know how to do it because I know that this one works. So if this one doesn't work, then you know that it's something it's gone wrong on your end. So just hit download as you normally would, take you to this page, scroll down, hit download again, and then in the bottom left it will obviously start downloading. I've already actually installed this onto my computer just to make sure that this one definitely worked for a good tutorial. So I've got that here on my desktop just there in the top left so I'm just going to cancel that one on my other screen launch this one up and there you go so this is what you need all of the files are there as normal so you just save it to a temporary folder or your desktop like I have here and I've renamed it up there as well so this is all the files that you should need open up the readme that is always the first thing you should do and this will give you the instructions that you need because some sometimes instructions can vary so this is the bit here in school for uh, obviously in Structuring one says copy the FC KLAX photo real 3.0 folder and paste it into your Microsoft Flight Simulator X add on scenery folder. Uh, so that is your first instruction. And then the next instruction, number two, is where it gets a lot of people. This is the bit a lot of people find confusing and they don't know how to do. So I'll be taking you through instruction two as well. So, like I said, you've got all the, all the files here. But you don't actually need all of them because as the readme says, you only need the KLAX Photoreal version 3.0 folder. Uh, and that is the case for most installations of these kinds. All of these are just some pictures. Obviously those two you don't need at all. The flyaway simulation ones, they just add those in there. So you can delete those if you want. Uh, and then you've got all of these are just pictures. Then you've got an LAX information PDF there and obviously your readme. This is the only folder that you really need for an installation, so you don't have to go into it, but it's got scenery and textures folders there, even though there's nothing in the textures. Uh, so, right-click and copy it, because we're going to take it over to your Scheme FSX folder. So like I said, this is for Scheme only, but it will most of them work for, obviously, box edition. Uh, so, going to your uh, C drive or D drive, whatever, which uh, whichever one Scheme is installing to, going to Scheme, just there, scroll down a little bit and you'll see scheme apps near the bottom and then common and then you'll see FSX. So you go into that and then that is your FSX folder right here. This is everything FSX. So it's said to go into add on scenery. So that's what we're doing. And then right click and paste or control V. And then that is it. That is your scenery installed. You don't need to do anything more else for the installation. So we're now going to activate it. So once you're in settings, you need to head on over to scenery library. Also, you might want to close FSX before uh, you actually install it. So here's a list of all of your add-on scenery as well as your default base sceneries, your different cities here and regions and everything like that. That's all there. Your add-on ones are at the top. And it's basically in the order that you installed them, as you can sort of see here. I mean, like the latest one I installed was uh, Lig X there. Uh, so that's obviously at the top, so that's priority one, and that's sort of the order it goes in just there. So obviously we want to add a scenery, we want to activate it, so click add area, and you should be in your FSX folder straight away, but if you're not, it, you're just going to the same way as before, you're going to uh, this PC, uh, then you go into your C or C drive or wherever it is, mine's G drive like a seg, so whichever one yours is, mine's G. Uh, going to scheme as before, where is it there, and then scroll down, scheme apps, common fsx and then you're back into it so then just going to add on scenery and then find the one that you want klax and then a lot of people click ok and they're wondering what's going on they keep clicking it they're wondering why it doesn't work you need to double click the white area as you just saw there so i'm just going to do that again for you just in case you didn't get that so i'm just going to delete it and add it in again so add on scenery klax and then you just double click that white area if it doesn't work click the ok button and then click the white area once. It's it's a little bit iffy how it works, but if basically click the OK button and single click the white bit if it doesn't do the double click white bit first. And then that's it. As you can see, it's activated up at the top there. So let's just go and have a look at it. 
And as you can see, we're all in school. You can see Los Angeles Airport there. Obviously, this is photo real scenery, so it hasn't uh, exactly blended again very well. That's why I don't really like photo real scenery. But that is how it should look in the pictures. So there you go. It has worked. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure to click like and subscribe for more tutorials and videos. And if you it didn't work for you, like I said, make sure you try this airport first. Uh, if it's still not working, just send me, uh, make sure you read the readme file and if it's still not working just send me a comment or DM me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. So like I say, if you found it useful make sure to hit subscribe and thanks for watching. Oh.